Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be watching Caught Cheating by Nine Girlfriends Take Confidential, episode 125. Make sure you like and subscribe because when we get to 2000, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, make sure you click the links in the description to donate and support us. And let's go into the video. <laughs> We're finally back. Home sweet home, eh? What do you think, Tristan? What is that? Glad to be home. I'm not sure about the London, personally. It was like a... Mix it up a little thing. bit. Just uh, I don't know. We late just got back. London was the worst disaster. I will never find anything to recover from London. What is it, a burger? What do you oh, mean? Oh, that's nice. That's what I'm trying to figure that out was a great. Remember the salt? Mm. So, it was hell on earth. It wasn't hell on earth. We have one more plate. Please. London was hell on earth. And I'm never leaving Romania again. Why was London hell on earth? And why Can someone actually explain why Tristan has a black eye? Because you never leave Romania again. Can someone put it down below? I want to know. Because Romania is the promised land where I'm happy. Why can't you just let me be happy? It is quite nice. Okay. What if 13 degrees in sun, we've got a bunch of supercars, a massive mansion, and 21 girlfriends? I'm sorry, I hate how he eats. What if I can show you a card trick? Why? And I guarantee yeah, I'm not talking to you. Wait, no, 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 no. wait, 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 I'm interested. Oh, Tristan I doesn't. I guarantee you. I'm going to show you a card trick. And I guarantee by the end of the card trick that you're happy to leave me. You don't have any fucking cards. Do, do you agree that if I show you a card trick, that you're going to act within your instinct, and that at the end of the contract, card trick, if you feel like leaving Romania, that you'll get on a plane? Do you agree with that? Because I am a magician. Do you agree? Sure. Femcentric systems enslave man. I saw some dude the other day, some guy on Twitter, he's a big Bitcoin guy. It's him and his fucking wife and his head kid. Yay, my kid, I got a kid. Da -da. In days of old, any dude with money, he'd spread his genetic seed everywhere. He'd have 50 kids with fucking 30 chicks, but now he's gonna have a couple kids with one chick. Why? Not because that's what he truly wants, because the woman will get mad if he doesn't. The female controls it, the female imperative. Well, my wife might leave me and cry her eyes out if I get my pee pee wet. You got a fucking chick telling you what to do with your own dick? You got women controlling your body parts? Minafi, listen to them. So, what me and Tristan do is very, very important by attempting to rebalance the universe with our Aikido. Please understand, there is no female on the planet who would not be a loving, loyal, subservient girlfriend to men of our caliber. Of course, there's nowhere else to fucking go, but I refuse to allow that to happen. You can either buy yourself a nice, reliable Toyota, or you can buy yourself a McLaren and all its problems. Because when you have the best of the best, problems come with it. I refuse to allow some bitch to get a reliable McLaren in me. In fact, I'm so offended, fuck being loyal. I'm offended if a bitch thinks I'm loyal. Well, you think I have no hoes? Do I look a fucking punk to you? So, for that reason, to re-establish balance in the universe because of this bitch shit I just saw on Twitter, some dude who's not gonna have 20 sons because he's afraid of his fucking wife, like a loser. I mean, it's not really like that, though. What I'm gonna do is invite all of them. What do you mean? He's obviously in love with her, so he's obviously going to be loyal. My girlfriends, some of them have already met, some of them don't know the others. All of them to the house today. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them. Bring me everyone. Everyone. So they can all sit there and go, who's this girl? I'm saying, listen, you little fucking cunt. If you think a man like me has to be loyal to some stupid whoopie like you, you're out of your fucking mind. You ain't been through a fraction of the shit I've been through to become the man I am. You're nothing. 
You're a little fucking whoopy. What are you? Oh, I'm going to China. Who the fuck doesn't? I don't care. I'm bringing all of them. And this is the test of loyalty. Because if you will not remain loyal to me while I cheat on you with eight girls in front of your face, then I don't need you. So, to combat against the femme-centric systems of Earth, Tristan, we have to invite every single girl that we are currently dating to the house at once. And if they want to cry about it, we don't have room. We're going to see. If they want to cry about it, I'm a fair man. So because I'm fair, if they want to Is he literally being serious? Us, I will offer any single one of them. And also, does he generally have like nine yeah. girls that he's dating right now? Because that's fair. hilarious. Guys, don't jump in. One-on-one -on -one combat. Don't jump in. That's fair. One-on-one. -on -one. If you're really that upset and you want to scream in my face, that's fine. We can have one-on-one -on -one combat outside. If you win, I'll get rid of the other girls. But if you lose, you can take your busted up eye and get the fuck out of my house. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah. Last guy is sloppy. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Oh. Sound him out. Oh, okay. There we go. It's gonna be a good one. Go down below, guys, in the comments who you think was the best opponent against Andrew. Who do you think? Me too. And then Luke. I mm. What is it? <laughs> That's so random. Why are you dressed in a suit? I'm dressed in my evening's finest. I tend to go down with the ship, like a gentleman. Guggenheim, these are for you, Mr. Guggenheim. Oh, I feel bad then. I laughed. No, turned on to the Titanic. But we would like a brandy. What am I doing? Why? I don't know. It does look like vibes. I love the fact he's just put, was that a cake in the middle? And now he's off. I'm sorry, but if I gained, oh. if I gained this stare, 
Then on top of that stare, I would shit my pants. <laughs> it's bad enough one, let alone two. Yoga fire. Boom. Boom, boom. I actually think you could take all of them. I could go back. You could. I actually believe that. I could take all of them. Genuinely. All right. Take all the intro viewers. Genuinely. Who do you think would win in a fight? All of them. Or Andrew. 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 The fuck? Unless one of them bust out some Aikido That's moves. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't make you invisible. Or a weapon. The booze doesn't make you say you can't hear me. I don't know if you all know this or not, it's really important. It's Wait, why is he just randomly with the drinks? I'm gonna make some fire. <laughs> fire uh, balls. WD 40? Yeah. I, I forgot how to say it. It's Luke's birthday. It's Luke's birthday. He's uh, 16 today. <laughs> <laughs> Remember you have Luke around the applause and we'll clap for Luke. Oh, no, no. Was that a gun that he just put on the side? Yeah. Congratulations, you're like the first drink. So who hasn't got a shot? I've got one. Everyone needs at least a shot. That's better than this. Awesome. As if he's actually checking. Don't trust your main And this is big happy birthday to my favorite cousin, and it's Luke's birthday too. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. All right, put that. That, nah, I would actually shit myself. I'd be like, oh no. Fuck. He wouldn't <laughs> shit me, but I'd be like, oh no. Okay, guys, sorry to interrupt. I don't know if anyone knows this, but it's Alex's birthday today. Oh my god, not again. Happy birthday, Alex. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Alex. Wait, I was going to stab him today. <laughs> Wait, did you just say he was going to stab him to death? Or did I mishear that? I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I just bit tips. Alex. Alex fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> it's getting worse. Girls, shots! Come, come, come! Come, shots come here, come here, everybody! Shots of booze. Bring your glasses. One way to get people drunk. Everyone's Happy birthday, birthday today. Birthday, Guys, I just want to say it's uh, Olivia's birthday today, and she's actually twelve. So everyone needs to raise a drink for her, and drink for us. Alex. Alex, I hope this birthday will be your last. Alex, we hope this will be your last your birthday. So we want to make it good. Sarcasm. Take the vaccine, have a heart attack along with everybody else. Take two. Booster. Every six months. Oh my god, the coldness. Happy birthday. <laughs> Don't worry, they can't, they can't hear you. When we do this, we can't hear you. Oh. Sorry, yeah, I'll fuck. Let's be mature about this. Sorry, I meditate, I can't hear you. They're meditating, don't interrupt them. Oh, go upstairs, go to the teller. That's a plane is just in the movie. Go to the back. That's important. I mean, she's down for the, the vibe and she's Larry. That looks sick. Never done before. Never done before. Fuck! Wait! It's burning because it's going to be fire. He's down for shit! Go down higher. Sing upstairs. I mean, to be fair, though, the party does look like a bad guy. Doesn't it?
No, her tits are that plastic, they won't even shake. <laughs> that was so random. It's because she came across the screen going like this. They weren't even shaking. <laughs> I actually love his dancing. <laughs> Why would this remind me of Austin? Even Andrew and Sal sat, what the hell? That's literally me though, and you're sat there. That's like, what I'm what saying, the that's why I say it reminds me of so much of us two. It's even got his face. That would be his face without the mask right now, with the smirk. That's like me with J to I. It's not real. Right. It's not real. Fuck yeah. If they're really that upset, they'll That's be. That's real though. I know. But they're not leaving, so they're obviously not that upset. They're there for the money, for sure. Right, well, I'm not being funny if they really were that upset. <laughs> Andrew Tate with like eight other girls and me. <laughs> you would leave. You would. If that was me in that position, I'd be like, fuck you, fuck your house, fuck your money, fuck your brother, fuck Luke, bye. And I'd leave. I like it how Luke got brought into it. <laughs> he's, he's the most innocent one there. Like, and literally, I'd leave. so sweet. I would be like, yeah, Andrew, woo! I wouldn't cry about it, for sure. I'd, I'd just tell everyone to fuck themselves. No, but to be fair, you know what you're getting into when you go with the Tate brothers. Like, come on, they make it so transparent. They tell you. Literally, they literally tell you what I'm they're doing. I'm with eight of the more bitches. So if they really were upset, why is it still staying? Pathetic. She's got a pussy, no balls. Yeah, logically she has, but mentally. Plus she's, she's, she's No, mentally, they only got pussies. They ain't got no balls. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below. I'd like to see you next. Remember to check out our Patreon in the description below and our TikTok as well as that. Remember to check out our community tab when we go live on TikTok and YouTube. We will be going live soon, hopefully. It's just I've been really busy with loads of shit. Um, and <laughs> Great explaining. Work, college. Come on now, guys. Give me a break. I'm trying my best here. And see you guys next time. I don't know what happened to the outro, but goodbye, bye, guys. <laughs>